So today we are at the top of the morning now, okay? I just woke up, so I put these on. I'm trying to be a little more consistent so I can see how they actually work. But I put them on this morning just because today I have plans later to do, I'm gonna go to my friend's party. She's having a party at 7.30. So I said, let me get started earlier. And since I did not show you um, the video, my last video with my swoop bang, I feel like I'm gonna show you that today. So, in the process of me getting cute and everything, I'm just going to go ahead and do it with my honeys. Why not? KJ is woke, but he's downstairs eating breakfast. So, you know, at this point, KJ feeds himself. He eats with a spoon. And he's just such a big boy to be one. But I guess at this point, he's, what, 20 months? So, he'll be two in a couple months here in February. So, we're a few months. But he's such a big boy, and I don't know if it's early for him to do the things that he does, but he does a lot to be a big boy. The only thing he will not do is get on that potty. <laughs> but he takes that diaper off, okay? Soon when it's wet, he takes it off. And it's like, you can get a couple more wets out of that. <laughs> Hold on. But um, we trying to get him potty trained and things like that on early. So we ain't got to worry about peeing in no bed once he does get in his drawers, okay? So we're starting off today putting our wig on, okay? So that's like the quickest thing nowadays to me is just to throw a wig on and keep it moving, okay? So how long I want this wig to last, it just depends on what type of adhesive I put on it. So if I use Gasta B, it doesn't last as long, maybe a couple days, okay? And then the more you shift and move and have your facial expressions going on, that um stuff will lip, start lifting and get crunchy. So. I usually be cool. By the time you get crunchy, I wet it and it come right off. But um, if you use a, a lace glue, it's sure to last longer. And then it depends on how many layers you use of how long it's actually going to last. So for me, I'm roughly doing one layer. Okay, if I put a cap on, I put a layer on the cap to hold it down. And then I put another layer on wherever the lace will be going. So technically, you know, it could be two layers because that one layer that you put on that cap does count okay so i'm probably using two light layers we all know that a little bit goes a long way so this is the wig we're using today it's 24 inches this is my baby this is the wig that i have just been wearing for every and any occasion it has so much parting space okay it has a lot of parting space on it. So I felt like this would be perfect for that style as far as getting my swoop and maybe even putting it up in a ponytail and then let it hang down. So half up, half down with the bang, you know. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. But I at least want to show my honeys this swoop first and then we'll get into the other style on another video. So what you want to do is start off with your wig, clean wig, you know, I done wore it, so I had to wash it, blow dry it out, everything like that. And then I like to style everything on my mannequin head. So as I'm, before I put it on my head, I like to throw it on the head, the mannequin, and then, um, you know, style as needed. So if I'm doing the side part, middle part, however it goes, that's exactly how I would style it on that mannequin. But then once I put it on, then I go full throttle with whichever style it needs to be. But if I was doing curls or, you know, just stuff that you can do off your head, that's what I would do. Because I feel like once you put it on and then you, you know, yanking and pulling on it, doing certain styles, you could potentially be loosening that lace. So just get it all out the way or whatever. So, um... And that's just for me because I'm doing it on my own head. So my arm, the way my arms are set up, okay, I'm yanking and pulling or whatever. But as far as the client goes, it's, it's okay to go ahead for me to just do it on their head while it's glued down and that glue is drying with the band on. We're going to take our wig and we're going to put our part where we want it. So we want our part to be on the side for this style. That's how you're going to get your swoop. Now, it just depends. Do you want a deep side part or do you just want a regular side part okay so you can go as deep as you need to or you can bring it up and you know more towards the middle but a little off to the side to 
get this style okay so I have a lot of parting space on this wig so I feel like I may do it deep but either way it go my honey you're gonna set your part and then you're gonna take your wax stick okay you could take the wax stick you could take some hair oil you can also take the um, silk infusion that I use or you can also take some bio silk you put it on along your part so this way you could tame those hairs so they can lay exactly where you want them if you don't tame it then your style will just come across as poofy okay it won't be as flat as possible it won't be any of that it would just be there and poof. we're gonna make our part and then we're gonna on each side of the part part little sections to go through with the hot comb so therefore we can get it as flat as possible okay so this is just a part of organizing your hairstyle so this is how we have to organize the wigs okay I know that I used to put mousse along that hair and then you know have to allow it to dry and do that that works as well my honeys Like I said, this wig has already been installed, so I am still going to take my around my hairline and straighten the comb it back, okay? Because I don't want any hairs in my way while I am gluing this install down, being that there's no lace to help me or guide me through. So I just have to lay it over the glue that it's going to be on. Since I only want this hairstyle to last me for the weekend, basically, I am just going to spray it with some Gasta B. Okay, I 
barely have any guys to be so if I run out in the process then I have the bed head so I will definitely be spraying with that just to have it on for the weekend I'm not trying to really have a long last because it's time for me to do my hair and wash it so I don't really want to have it on and then be having to peel it off because I put that um you know that tough glue on there now when you're spraying this spray along your hairline to kind of put it down my honeys I will basically bust it down in sections my first section for me will always be at the top okay so I will align my lace how I want it I will make sure my ear tabs is placed properly okay not one lopsided than the other so make sure they're placed properly okay I, I move everything back okay like I said I've already straightened and combed it back so therefore I could see what I'm doing and then I'll spray that section okay boom 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 and then I'll take a comb and comb those hairs out of my way in place and then I will proceed to dry with the back of the comb kind of helping it to lay to my skin you know holding down and everything because if you just go in and spray it and then dry it the wrinkle hair that is there will be crusty okay it will be very crunchy and just there but if you comb it through okay and then later on down the line when you go to do baby hair you'll be able to just comb that right out and comb it down however you need to versus it just being crunchy and bunched up there so i always spray and then comb through and then dry so once it's all said and done my honey you should be able to move it all out the way see how it looks if you have any areas that's not down and that has lifted or whatever then you would just go in with some more spray tut tut okay and then before you ever go to blow dry your spray just make sure you combing it through so if you have to go in for this spot, that spot, spray some spray on there, comb it through, and then um, dry. Boom. That kind of helps it not to turn white and all that too because that spritz will turn white as well. Now with all of that being said, my honeys, your lace is ready, set, go at this point. You don't have to put a band on it to secure that it's dry or anything because you blow dried it and you did it manually. So you can just go right on here and set your baby hairs. You know what I'm saying? So... I have already cut my baby hairs out on this unit, so it's already ready, set, go. But um, what you would do is just part out your baby hair and comb them down, okay? And what I find that was helpful was to straighten and comb them down if you have one. Just go ahead and straighten and comb them straight down into the face, okay? It just kind of makes it more flexible to go that way versus trying to just fly back. But we're going to get right into this bang. So... You want to, you got your install in, everything is good to go, and then you got a section off your bang now. All you really need is a section of that from the forehead area. Okay, so by the time you use that section from that forehead area and just bring it down and around that forehead and swoop it behind that ear, everything else behind it will lay over it. So that's how that goes. The first time I tried it, I used too much of a bang. So by the time I swooped all that behind my ear, there was really no hair left behind the bang to kind of hang over my ears and be cute and cover it up, okay? You may have some pins over there. You may have something that just does not need to be visible. And you could cut that hair will hang over that and be cute, okay? So you don't need that much bang. You just only need a section from the front. By the time you get your section sectioned out and everything, you're gotta, you have to go back in maybe with the hot comb okay and then you have to hot comb that through you have already went through and made your sections for your part so it's like you already have product on there of whatever you use to kind of help that hair lay in that direction so all you basically will be doing is taking your hot comb and moving it and combing it forward so therefore you could swoop it around and then you have to go in and mold it once you get it kind of molded with the hot comb going exactly how you want it make sure you do it this is a rough draft make sure you do it and put it behind that ear as well you're going to see the style in your face like oh, okay i do i want this you know and if you say okay well i could add a little more bang down there boom so that the sides will hang over okay properly and not be too far up in your face you want it to just hang you know to the sides so you may determine at that point, oh, I need a little more bang or I need a little less bang, okay? But make sure as you're doing it that you're swooping that bang behind your ear so therefore you can see in full effect how your style is going to lay. 
once you have it styled and boom, boom, bam, then you will go in, my honeys, with some spray. Now, you may not need to spray, okay? With all the product that you put on there to keep it to let, you know, lay flat like you want it, it may hold on its own like that. But if it's, it's not going to be too secure, okay? So, I just kind of will put some spray along the front part of it just because my eyebrow is right there. So, every time I make a facial movement or whatever, that hair is moving around and everything like that. So... I will find myself having to go in and be swooping little pieces of hair that them fell out from me, my facial expressions. So I spray that little area just a little bit or whatever. And then, you know, you, you don't want it too crunchy, but you want it to hold. So that's why I say, you know, go in with the little hairspray and then boom. So it's holding, it's good, okay? Then you get you some pins, and then you go ahead and pin that area behind your ear. Once you put those pins in there, you put them in a downwards direction. So you basically putting them behind the ear going down, sliding down. I don't care if you put it behind the ear and it slides down and you feel it on your, you know, your, your the back of your ear, your skin. That's where you want it to stay, so it really wouldn't matter, you know? But at least it's going downwards because if you stick them upwards, gravity pulls. Them pins may fall, okay? And you don't want to be out during the day and then your pins falling out and everything like that. So I would suggest that you put them down. You go to your other side and then you, you fix up that. You do your baby hairs. You may want that to hang. And I'm doing baby hairs today with that side. So I'm just going to swoop me two little swoops, okay? And then put it on to the, uh, I could put it in the back of my ear as well, okay, or I could have it hanging, so if I need to go back in with the hot comb and make sure that it's laying flat and make sure everything is legit, then that's what I would do, but I don't really need to add any more product because I already did that when I made my part. Before you know it, my honey, you are done. You are slaying, okay. I like my mannequin head. It comes in handy because I can flat on it and do everything I need to the hair before I even put it on my head. I do have a link to the mannequin head and the wig stand and everything down in the description in my Amazon store. Okay, so check it out if you're interested in investing because I look for the stuff and I get good. I, I choose good prices for it. Okay, something that I would pay. All right, so... um. Check the Amazon store out for, you know, most of the products that we use on this channel for most of the whatever, okay? As far as my technical stuff, everything is on there in that store, so go check it out, my honeys. But that stand helps me to just get that done really quick, because while it's on your head, that's 24 inches. Let me be trying to flat iron this and do all that. And, you know, and I have to stretch my arms and do it. I just do it on the head. Okay, I love long hair. I will wear 30 inches, 38 inches. I don't care what it is because when I put heels on my honeys, I am six foot one. Okay, <laughs> I'm a big bit. Okay, so I like long hair. So basically, um, 24 inches is great for me, and I can't just do it on my actual own head. So the style is complete. It's already flat ironed out. I may need to go in and hit twos and fuse here and there just to make everything, you know, lay right or whatever. I'm wearing it straight, so it's perfect. I haven't tried this look with curls yet, but I will be trying this look with the ponytail. Okay, we're going to probably use the same wig because of the parting space that I have on it. I just love it. So, I would like to try the ponytail half up, half down with the swoop as well. And if my honeys liked this video, okay, and if you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because you do not want to miss what we talk about over here in Kale's Nation because Kale's is coming to spill, okay? She doesn't sugarcoat or hide anything. She gives it to you nice, raw, and dirty, okay? So if there was any questions for this video, just go to the comments. Leave me a comment. I will get right with you, and you already know I don't play about my honey. So um, if I left anything out, Leave me a comment, and we're going to go from there. And be sure to check out my website, okay, my honey's kaleshairandbeauty.com. I have some interesting things over there, okay. I have, um, we got bonnets, we got baby bonnets, and we have, um, lashes. Now, if you want an unboxing video, let me know on that too, so you can see exactly what I have and, you know, things like that. And, um, 
each different style of lashes. We can talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I hear KJ down and he's done eating, so at this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. <laughs> The next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. And y'all better go get y'all bonnets. Okay, they are selling fast. Mm -hmm.